What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and in today's video, we have an epic collection purchase, as well as one other piece of mail. It's a pretty cool card, so before we start the video, I want to remind you guys to like the video, subscribe, make a comment, and turn on the notification bell, so you can see all the epic videos we got coming up, because we got some really good ones, including a first edition Legend Blue Eyes White Dragon booster box, and potentially some other really cool stuff, as well as continuing to search for the Elemental Hero Ultimate Rare, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. So make sure you guys subscribe and let's get into this opening. This is going to be a pretty epic collection purchase. Before that, I want to show you guys the giveaway. I'll be giving away a Mass Beast from Retro Back 2. I believe this is a common, but it's kind of kind of looks like a super for a second, but it's not. Um, a Ring of Destruction that's from Invasion of Chaos Special Edition, and a Secret Rare Dark Necrofear from Master Collection One. So. If we hit 100 likes in this video, I'll be giving away these three cards to one random commenter. So make sure you guys comment down below for a chance to win those cards, and I will give them away. And also make sure you guys are checking the community tab, because that's where I announce the giveaway winners. And if you don't check the tab, you might miss when you win, because the guy who won the Ghost Rare has not replied to me yet. So I'm probably giving it away to somebody else, which is a bummer for him. But yeah, let's get into it. And also check out my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below when you purchase anything from there. It supports the channel with money you were going to spend anyway. So that's very awesome. I appreciate you guys. Everyone who has done that. It's, um, I actually, I haven't gotten the actual like money yet because it takes, I believe it's like 15 days after the month of you hit a certain amount. So, um, I will be seeing that, uh, kickback soon, I believe. So I appreciate all you guys who have done it so far. Um, and yeah, let's get into this opening. First, we're going to start with this because it's uh, it's one card, and I just kind of threw it in here with the collection purchase because I got it on the same day. So, this is a really, really nice card. Pretty excited about it. I kind of put, I bought it and completely forgot about it, to be honest. Let's see if I can uh, yeah, do that. Okay. So this out. I also got 2,000 sleeves in, so we're good with sleeves. I was actually completely out of sleeves for the first time in months. Because usually I remember to buy them, and I did not remember to buy them this time. So, here we go. Let's check this card out. This is a pretty epic card. Alright, let's be very careful. Alright, so we look at it. It's pretty good condition. A little bit of a something there. We get an Elemental Hero Tempest. This is an unlimited print. But if you see, this says the uh, the Euro print, so it's pretty cool. A um, little bit more textured than the North American print. Pretty awesome, beautiful, near mint, Elemental Hero Ultimate Rare. So this is a pretty cool card I'm going to put in my binder, which I've been kind of putting a few things in my binder. I used to not really do anything with my binder, but I've been kind of working on some cool cards like this and that Ghost Rare I got the other day. Stuff like that's going to be in there. So this is a really cool pickup. That was from a cool guy on Instagram. Uh, Scholast, I think is how you say it. So, um, make sure you guys give him a follow. Now let's get into this collection purchase. This should be pretty fun. It's a lot of old school stuff. Whoops. Let's see if I can get this open. This is in a massive bubble mailer, which is a little weird. I think it's in a binder inside, which binders can be a little sketchy for shipping because the stuff just kind of goes everywhere. The, the uh, yeah, the cards just kind of roll around, and hopefully they didn't, but... Okay, it might be easier to use a knife right here. Yeah, that is a lot easier. Just cut through that tape. And that's part of the end. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, open this up now. This is one of the biggest bubble mailers I have ever seen in my life. I'll probably just rip it now. Yeah. Now, let's see if we can pull this binder out. Oh, he was using a legendary collection binder, so that's kind of funny. A legendary collection binder to store his cards. That's very strange. So, um, I'm probably going to have to um, pull all these out so we can go over them a lot easier. But as you see right here, we got a first edition. Fairly decent shape for what how it's stored. Maybe I actually maybe I can do it like this. Well, if they're on the back, probably not. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to pull all these out, and then we can kind of browse through them. Or I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's just not. I don't have the appropriate amount of room for binders being opened. So 
think I'm pushing my camera too. Actually, you know what I can do? I can pull the pages out. That actually is great. Okay, I'm really, I'm scared of binder dings though with what we're stored in, but let's see, let's do this. Let's pull these out. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, let's get this binder out of the way. And let's just use the pages. So that's gonna work out a lot better. So, so far we have an YZ Tank Dragon from Magician's Force, a first edition YZ Tank Dragon from Magician's Force, a first edition XZ Tank Cannon from Magician's Force. This man had a lot of these. He had a unlimited XZ Tank Cannon. These are all from Magician's Force. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Ryu Sinchi from Legacy of Darkness, super rare. See, so there's a lot of old school hollows in here. So you guys sit back and enjoy the show because there's nothing like old school hollows. Let's try and do not, not hit the back cards. XZ Tank Cannon again. And just like the foil is like not in bad shape either. Like not, not mint condition, but like with no creases, no bends, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just not easy to find this many cards. There's a first edition Rai Senji from Legacy of Darkness. I'm going to split these up by first edition unlimited, I think. Let's do it like this. First edition unlimited. First edition unlimited. Looks like a pretty even split. Like there's a lot of unlimited, a lot of first editions. So this might be kind of a longer video because there are like a bunch of pages of this. First edition Fiend Skull Dragon. But, I mean, how can you go wrong with looking at old school cards, you know? So here we go. We got a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, Metal Raiders, original print. So that's pretty cool. A lot. I'm going to be selling a lot of this stuff too. So um, if you guys are interested, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. That is where I do all my selling. And Well, not all of it. I do a little bit on eBay, but usually I'm going to go to Instagram first. And it's a lot easier to sell there. So, ooh, first edition Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. It is a little bit of a nick right there. Probably a moderate play. Maybe a little bit better than moderate play. That's a pretty nice Metal Raiders first edition card. You don't see a lot of Metal Raiders floating around anymore, like first edition wise. All right, let's see if we can pull all these out. Okay, so we got a Magician's Force Ultra Rare XYZ Dragon Cannon. That is a very nice card. You do not see that around too much. Gym Knight Ruby, that's from Hidden Arsenal, so I figure it's not worth too much. I'm gonna set that in its own pile, kind of the Kind of the loser pile. <laughs> At this point, not a very nice card compared to everything else, but still not a bad card. Hidden Arsenal was always is, has always been pretty cheap. Let's see. Ooh, here we go. Limited edition collection 10. That's pretty cool. That's not a bad little card. All right, left. First page, you see back there, we got a little bit of Air Neos action. That's a first edition ultra rare. Unfortunately, not the ultimate rare, but even the ultra rare is crazy because that card was only printed once. Um, it was an ultra rare and an ultimate rare, but it was never printed again after that. So, Last Warrior from Another Planet from, L I was about to say Legacy, Labyrinth of Nightmare. There's another hidden arsenal foil. First edition, though, it's not nothing to complain about there. These, I'm definitely tossing these out. They're very dusty. There's a common card in here. That's kind of weird. Leviathan Dragon Common. There's an Ancient Prophecy Turbo Cannon. I don't know much about uh, Turbo Cannon, but we'll put it in its extra pile over there. I don't know what this is. We're not sleeving the common, though. Um, ooh, yeah. The Reaper on the Nightmare is not a bad uh, foil either. First edition. A lot of these have a lot of backscuffing, but it looks like they're not too bad. Look at this. It has extra card on it. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, sorry about this and this. My fingers got really beat up playing basketball yesterday. Um, but we're, we're okay. We're doing fine. But it didn't feel very good when it happened. <laughs> Here we go. We got a Dark Flare Knight. This one's not in the best shape. This is like definitely mod play. Maybe a little bit worse. But first edition from Dark Crisis. Pretty awesome. It's already been going for nine minutes. Oh, we're going to be going for a while. Hope you guys enjoy the long videos because that's what we're doing. Last time I did a collection purchase, I did a 50-minute video, and you guys loved it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, is that a rare or is that an ultra rare? That's an ultra rare. That, is that like a Euro print or something? Because it looks really shiny. It has a little ding on it, unfortunately, in the middle. But, yeah, you guys loved the uh, 
the long collection, but that was also an amazing, amazing collection. First edition, Dark Crisis. I got a little bit of something there. Oh, it came off. Okay, a little bit of smudging on it. It's a mod play. First edition, Shinado. That's one of my favorite cards. I just really like it. Here we go. We got a Phantom Darkness Super Rare. That's very clean. That's like near mint. Pretty cool Elemental Hero Storm Neos. Ooh, Majestic Red Dragon. I really like this in Ultimate Rare, the one we pulled on the channel. I, I got a PSA 9 on it. Pretty, ex I, I like it, even though it's a, not, not a 10. I usually am a big 10 guy, but I will take PSA 9s of cards that are that cool. Let's see what we got here. We got another Storm Neos. We got a common Air Hummingbird back there. Okay. Common Air Hummingbird. It's kind of random. Ooh, Ultimate Rare. From Duelist Revolution, Voltic Bicorn. Okay, so let's put that in there. Okay, let's get up to these. Evil Hero Wild Cyclone from DP06. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Evil Hero Wild Cyclone. That's interesting. We got the Paladin or the White Dragon Ritual for the Paladin White Dragon. Ooh, first edition Paladin White Dragon. Unfortunately creased. This is a very tough card to get in PSA 10. There's not very many of them. But still, epic. All right, here we go. Ultra Rare Heroes. Our extra cards are the Wild Heart and a Hidden Arsenal card. Elemental Energy Unlimited. Pretty clean card, actually. That's not a bad, not a bad little card right there. Let's see. Ibagishi Soul Ogre. Pretty cool. All right, this Air Neos is actually, I mean, this card's like 50 plus dollars, I think, in your mint. So let's see if we can get it out there without doing anything crazy. All right. Wow, pretty nice, actually. Not perfect, but I mean, that's pretty close to near mint. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe, let's see, check out that corner. Might be a little bit of a something going on with that corner, so. It might just be how it's cut, but honestly, really nice condition. So that's a, that's a big boy right there. That's a big card. There we go. Really big ultra rare, like very expensive for an ultra rare. All right, here we go. We're getting some more OGs. Here we go. We got the real OG. First Ed LOB. Not beautiful shape, but Trial of Hell. Everybody loves a good Trial of Hell card because, um, it was changed because it was changed to Trial of Nightmare instead of Trial of Hell. I guess they decided that that was too sensitive. So yeah, that card's actually pretty pricey, even not in great condition. Mirage Knight, first edition Dark Crisis. Beautiful. Unfortunately, the Summon Skull is not MRD. That would be... Oh, look, another Mirage Knight. Not as clean as the other one, but still pretty nice. We got ourselves a Gaia original print, it looks like. Ooh, wow, pretty nice. And okay, it has a little bit of stuff right there, but the surface is very glossy. Um, so pretty, pretty nice card there. Three Mirage Knights. This guy had three Mirage Knights lined up over here. First edition from Dark Crisis. Pretty cool there. Okay, we've got some Dark Magician from the Collector thing. That's the Dark Magician from this binder that he used. Um, first edition Lava Golem. Not from Phronic Guardian, though. First edition, but this is SYE, but still Dark Magician. I don't know much about this SDMA. Is that a starter deck? That might be a starter deck. Here we have another Metal Raiders first edition card, but absolutely destroyed. Like that card is destroyed. Garnesia Elephantis, the bane of Metal Raiders. If you open Metal Raiders, you do not want that card. Here's another Lava Golem, but this one is the um, special edition from Invasion of Chaos. It's a pretty good card. There's a Luster Dragon. <laughs> Ushioni from McDonald's Pack. Alright, we like McDonald's Pack. Okay, Legacy of Darkness. Super rare. Nice card there. Man, there is a lot more stuff in here than I remembered. See. Okay, there's... Oh, Jump Promo. That's not... I thought this was the one from the Legendary Collection. It's a Jump Promo, so that's pretty nice. I can go back there. Ooh, TP6 card, that's pretty cool. 
common, but TP6, another TP6, another TP6. Okay. I don't know if he had any TP6 foils in here. Maybe he'll have a nice uh, tune table of contents for us. I don't think he did, because I did see the pictures, but you never know. I'm going to miss it. There's a Serpent Knight Dragon, secret rare. Here we go. TP1. Okay. That's not bad. TP1. That's pretty good. I don't have many TP1 commons. Crusader of Endymion. See, look at the... I don't know if you guys can tell on the video, but it's extremely glossy. This is from... What is this set called? It's a 5D set. Sav... Overload. Something Overload, right? I can't remember. It has one of the... I mean, it has a Ghost Rare in it. Um, you guys are going to you know, hate me for not knowing that. Remind me what that is. Um, we got a Mass Beast Desk Guardius. It's a classic anime card. The Mass Beast Desk Guardius. <gasps> There's a first edition Mazira de Villain here. I didn't realize that. Okay. I mean, that's not like that expensive or anything, but it's a first edition secret rare, so that's pretty cool. A couple more commons. Man, that, uh, that's going to really bug me that I don't know what Sovra is. Isn't that the set that has, a? Uh, isn't that the set that has Guardian Iatos in it? Or Mudora, first edition secret rare. Or not secret, super rare from Dark Crisis. That is not a very pricey first edition, but still first edition hollow. Ooh, Phantom Darkness. We got Destiny Hero Dogma, super rare. Got a Red Eyes Wyvern. It's from Ancient Prophecy Limited Edition, so it's some sort of promo or something. Pretty cool. I don't know if that card's any good. Like, it's pretty good in Duel Links, but... Oh, man, I forgot about this. Destiny Hero Dogma Ultimate Rare. And that's pretty nice. Like, not bad condition. Maybe, like, light play. Maybe a little better. Wow, Destiny Hero Dogma. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's set that over here. That's really beautiful. And then a Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon, which is not an expensive card at all, but really cool. Like, one of the most epic artworks in Yu-Gi-Oh!, is the Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon. Obviously, we got the uh, playmat right here. Crap, can't get this out. There are so many cards in here that I just completely forgot about. By the way, I spent $350 on this collection, so I think that it was a pretty good deal. Um, this Nero Double Dude. I got a lot of epic cards out of here for $350. Let's see... First edition Z Metal Tanks. So we're back to the. Uh, he this dude either opened a lot of Magicians Force or he really liked Magicians Force. DL2 Necrofear. Ooh, we got a secret rare out down there. That's nice. I don't think it's too pricey, but I can't remember. There's another first edition Y Dragon Head. A first edition Terror King Archfiend. We can get these out. Y Dragon Head Unlimited. We've got a first edition Necro Gardener from Tactical Evolution. It's a super rare. Get rid of that page. These nasty pages. All right, here's his first edition from Tactical Evolution. I think this card's pretty cheap, but nonetheless, first edition secret rare. So pretty nice. Pretty nice to pick up right there. See what was behind it. Elemental Hero Blade Edge. From the... Oh, that's from EEN. So that's not the starter deck. So that's the uh, that's the set version, even though it looks exactly the same. Here we go. We got a game promo. Slate Warrior. Everybody loves a good game promo. Game promos are nice. Elder of the Six Samurai. Don't know much about that card. Here's a Jinzo. Unfortunately, not PSV, but... Even Secret Rare BPT is pretty nice. Ooh, man, ugly on the back, but still pretty nice. And ooh, Arm Dragon level 7, DR3. Looks like we got ourselves a Japanese Gate Guardian. I don't know what set it's from, but it's very beat up, but very cool. More Phantom Darkness. This dude uh, opened a lot of unlimited Phantom Darkness, I think. 
Here's some more MRD. Oh, two. Oh, no, that's a DB1 version. Super rare from MRD. We got the common DB1 version and a perfectly ultimate Great Moth in decent condition. So, so far, this has been pretty awesome. Uh, Metal Raiders, Sangha of the Thunder. Let's take a Munda. Neospatian Flare Scarab. Very shiny. Phantom Darkness. Okay. Got a first edition Cyber Esper. Okay, we're probably gonna sleep those. Those guys are pretty cheap. Um, also, this video is already at 20 minutes, so I hope you guys enjoy the long video because it's gonna be pretty long. Okay, this is a secret rare as well. I'll, f I'll sleeve it even though it's a hidden arsenal card. I've been feeling a lot better um, since I was feeling bad last week, which is nice. Oh, those are from a structure deck, I think. I think I opened one of those one time. And then we got an Invasion of Chaos. Manticore of Darkness. Alright, we're back to some first edition old school. We got Visor Shock. Not in good condition at all on that one. But first edition. We got a Phantom Darkness Armageddon Knight. Another Visor Shock. Too bad there's only been like one ultimate. I was, that'd be nice if there was more, but... Um, can't really complain with what we've got so far. Twin-Headed Behemoth Unlimited from Legacy of Darkness. DD Scout Plane and Gil for the Legend. Oh, that's from a starter deck. Actually, pretty good condition. Pretty underrated. Those cards are pretty underrated. They must have been printed pretty heavily because they are really cool. There's prices are not there. Tech Reflector Unit with the... This has got to be a Euro print because it's so shiny. Cyber Barrier Dragon. A... What is that? Greed Kesar. Secret Rare. Alright. Guardian Seal. First Edition. Dark Crisis. I don't see a lot of first edition Dark Crisis floating around because those are expensive packs. Fairy King Truesdale. It's another game promo. Let's see if I can. Oh, nice. There's a, there's a nice MFC card coming up. That was unbanned recently. Tribe Infecting Virus. So, Oracle of the Sun. Let's try and speed this up a tiny bit. Ooh, spell canceller. Ooh, got those ugly things on the back. Insect princess, invasion of chaos, the troll. <laughs> Imagine opening invasion of chaos and pulling that. And that, that seems to happen all the time from the few invasion of chaos boxes that have been opened on YouTube. <laughs> Especially recently, nobody's opening that. Ooh, there's an the ultimate rare. Volcanic slicer from Force of the Breaker. That's pretty awesome. Fire Princess, BES, Crystal Core, Horus. Let's see about this Fire Princess from a Labyrinth of Nightmare. All right, here we go. We got a rare and ooh, a U Bell. That's a classic. That's only a super rare. It's pretty cool though. That we got an Arch Fiend of Gilfer. Ooh, Goddess of Whim. Nice crease there. We got a Mystical Beast of Surskit. That Goddess of Whim is done for. <laughs> Gemini Imps. Chaos Rider Gusta. Okay, whoa. Does this look really blurry? Why does that text look blurry to me? I don't know. That looks different for some reason. I'm going to have to look that over later. That looks really weird. We got Gemini Imps. From Premium Pack. Let's check out this Tribe Infecting Virus. This card just got unbanned, so it's fairly valuable. Okay, first edition, pretty cool. Another Chaos Rider Goose. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, look at these. These look completely different. Okay, first of all, the, uh, the text box is different. Okay, look at this. Like, there's different text. Once you're trying to remove from play up to two spell cards from your graveyard, this card gains 300 attack for each card removed until the opponent's next turn. And then it says, uh, 
in the opponent's next turn. This effect is only used once, so they added that. That use only used once. And then look how blurry this looks. That's very interesting. I've never known. That must have been they changed that uh, card text and added that. And then, like, also, I don't know about the blurriness. It's kind of weird. And then Honest, that's probably a nice little card. It's from the uh, Twilight decks or whatever, that little special edition. Not deck, special edition you can buy. Yeah. Here we go. I hit 25 minutes. We've been going for a while. Okay, Vampire Lord, Rise of, or Rise of Destiny. There's a Invader of the Throne, Kinetic Soldier. Here we go, Kinetic Soldier. That's a nice um, game promo. Invader of the Throne. We got a Gold Rare, Infernity Archfiend, Infernal Flame Emperor, and Fell Grand Dragon. So I'll go back and sleep those in a little bit, but we are taking a long time, so I don't want to. You know, kill you guys. First edition revival jam. Pretty nice condition. Nice. First edition different dimension dragon. Not terrible. Ooh. Let me know if you guys like to see the longer video or would you have liked me to just flip through it really quick? Which I can also do, but. This is just what I do whenever I go over something I buy. You know, I go through it, I look at it, sleep up the stuff. I would go slower than I am right now, probably. But I would also be, you know, watching something or something. Panther Warrior, Collection 10 2. Pretty nice condition. Bisky Shadow. Yeah, we're getting some of this stuff. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a Kaiser Seahorse. Let's check the condition. Is it PSA 10? Nope. Sorry, Iraqi. Um, let's see. Iraqi is a guy on Instagram who's really wants one of those in PSA 10, but they're actually way harder to find in PSA 10 than you would think. Right, here we go. Skilled White Magician, unlimited. It's creased, unfortunately. There we go. Ooh, we got a Skilled Dark Magician. All right, we're back for the last few pages of this we're gonna go a little quicker because we are pretty far behind so I'm just gonna kind of fly through these and see if we can find some good stuff so I don't really know a lot of this stuff is just some super rares and some stuff from like hidden arsenal and hidden arsenal foils aren't really foils if you know what I mean <laughs> they're just you know they're cheap and they all were all were all foils I think so it's another majestic mech Goryu reminds me of our enemy of justice search. So here we go. We got a gear free the iron knight. It's not bad. I need to scoot this stuff over so I can reach. Here we go. Got ourselves some sinister serpent. Maybe it's the uh, Spanish version or that that super rare one. Just so odd that it's that expensive. Scoot these over. Yeah, there we go. I need some room to put my arms down. Okay. Here we go. First edition, Suzuki Samurai. Actually, a pretty tough card to get in PSA 10. Probably because people don't really grade it too much. But So this is the SDD copy from the, um, whatchamacallit, game. All right, let's, let's just flip through these and pull out anything good. I'm probably going to leave some. Well, maybe not. Defusion. No need to be in a hurry, I guess. If you guys want to watch it, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. But let me know if you prefer a quicker overview, if you guys like the long marathon of searching through the collection. I think it's fun to search through the collection, but it's also me doing it. So let me know what you guys think. More Defusion and Gravekeeper Chief. You had a play set of both of them. Kind of weird. Okay. Okay, there's a first edition reload from Invasion of Chaos. Maybe they'll have a nice first edition Chaos and Bird Dragon there for us. <laughs> That'd be nice. There's another reload. That's an EN version. It's actually pretty rare. 
and then a strike ninja ultra rare from invasion of chaos so like why is why is it the strike ninja have to be the ultra ultra rare Ooh, nice Missouri Missouri control the homunculus it's like uh what's that show called Ooh, neo space ultimate rare what's the show with the homunculus called it's the little dude in the in the jar um what is it called it's a uh, full metal alchemist Ooh, first edition hero flash ultimate rare looks to be near mint as well well maybe not the top top's a little something so pretty nice though i'll take that Get rid of that. Then we've got these. We got a fifth hope. That's a cool card. Got all the elemental heroes on there. Or the original elemental heroes, the little ones. Oh, this is a bent sleeve. That's weird. Okay. Alright, here we go. I need more sleeves. I just used over a hundred sleeves in one video. Over a hundred sleeves. This is a pretty nice looking page right here. You can't see the bottom. The bottom's actually got the best part. But... Pull these out. We got a card of safe return and a flute of summoning dragon. Card of summoning return, a little crease in it. Uh oh, don't hit the morphine jar back there. Got a first edition dark room of nightmare. Moderately played. Another flute of summoning dragon. And here's a really nice card a double spell from Magician's Force, first edition. Don't see a lot of ultra rares from Magician's Force just floating around these days, so. That's pretty nice. Nordic Lights. And then a PGD Necro Valley. Not bad. It has a little bit of a crease in it. Or a bend. These exchanges are pretty nice cards. Oh, first edition Necro Valley. That one's in better condition, too. Okay. Um, that guy's pretty beat up. Oh, my goodness. These are so hard to deal with. Okay, there's an MRL painful choice. Let's see if I can pull these out over here a little easier. Not really, because I have so much stuff over here. All right, let's get that over there. Let's see, we got limiter removal. Ooh. Oh, it's not tournament pack. It's DL5. What is that, Duelist League? I have no idea what that's worth. I was hoping it was the tournament pack version, but I don't really know about the DL, the DL5. So maybe that's good too. Super rare. It's definitely the older and older print, so that's good. Crossroads of Chaos, and then scapegoat. Ooh, a first edition creature swap. Not bad condition. A card destruction. Gishki Aquamir. More Gishki. Card Destruction. Intercept Wave. Soul Exchange. Giant True Nade. Ooh, Nobleman of Cross Out. Those are nice little cards. Soul of Fire, Iron Core Specimen, another card destruction, so a lot of starter deck cards are here. Okay, got another, a nice Book of Moon, it's a pretty good card, but it's not a hollow, oh it's one of those little Star Warriors or whatever. Stick that over here. Diffusion Wave Motion, Unlimited, Magician's Force. <laughs> the most, the least valuable secret in all of the original sets, probably. Ooh, SDD Feather Duster. It's a nice card. We got a fine. We got our final going on over here. Graceful Charity, First Edition. Spirit Message I, Graceful Charity. Prohibition, and PSV first edition, DD designator, why'd I put that over there? Um, 
Yeah, this is the worst part about these kind of blinders is pulling everything out. It's a nice light and darkness. Dedication through light and darkness. I can't get this out. Just pulling all this stuff out is just killer. There's a magic planter. Shield and sword. Prohibition. Yeah, this would be a nice Saturday upload. This is perfect. So you can just like, you know, sit back, relax, get your popcorn. This is like a near mint condition. That's nice. Okay, these I'm going to go like this. Set these there. Mask of Dispel, first edition. Oh! Oh, I thought that was LOB. It's it is LOB, but it's Spanish. I think it's Spanish. Oh! Ultimate rare. Oh no. Near mint ultimate first edition, the beginning of the end. I didn't know that was in there. Phantom Darkness. Oh my goodness. Rai Geki. Near mint to mint. From S from LDD. I believe that's either Spanish. I think it's Spanish. Edition. First edition. First edition mask of dispel. I did not see those cards. That's pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, Raging Battle. We still get another tournament pack of rare up there. First edition MRL, Spellbinding Circle. First edition Backup Soldier, very beat up, but still. E Emergency Call, actually a pretty valuable common. Here we go, Unlimited, Spellbinding Circle. Unlimited Backup Soldier. So you had one of each. Maybe we'll just have an ultimate rare, like, hero back here or something. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mask of Restrict. Ultra rare. Wow. This really heated up at the end. It just kind of, like, it, it hit a little bit of a lull, and then boom. First edition blast held by a tribute. Oh, my. I did not realize the fire that was in here, honestly. Much better deal than I thought it was. I thought it was a good deal. I didn't know it was a great deal. Spell Vanishing. Super rare. We're getting close to the end, finally. So we're probably around almost 40 minutes now. So pretty long. So thank you guys. If you guys have watched this whole video, you're amazing. First edition. Look at pretty good condition. Dust Tornado. Nice. Pharaoh Servant. You guys are amazing. If you watched this whole video, if you um, enjoyed it, make sure you guys like the video. I appreciate it when you guys do that. And let me know what you guys think of the long video. So there's Saber Hole. Okay, we got a TP1 Rime. That's pretty cool. So we're going to sleeve that up. It's a rare, and it's actually in really, really a lot better shape than I thought. The front is not great, but the back's actually really, really nice. So still, that's still pretty expensive because tp ones not cheap these days. I don't know what this card is, but it seems it seems like some sort of promo. And I've never seen that art before, so maybe it's exclusive to Japan. We got an original Mirror Force. All right, we got two, what, two more pages. We've got Rainbow Life, first edition Pharaonic Guardian Statue of the Wicked. I didn't know there were so many first editions in here. Ooh, LON, we got a Churchill Tribute, very beat up. But amazing nonetheless. We got a Griffin Wing. Trap of Board Eraser first edition. Wow, first edition Magician's Force. This dude had a lot of Magician's Force. He had to have had a Dark Magician Girl at some point. First edition Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Man. So you had a very OG binder. Deck Devastation Virus and Power Frame. Okay, this sleeved card is getting nervous. There we go. All right. We got another first edition Amazonas Archers. Super rare. Goblin Fan. Game promo. Let's see if we can pull all these out. Okay, oh, Ultimate Rare Birthright. Is that what that looks like? 
This card looks like it's like... It... I don't know. It looks like it's missing part of its picture or something. That's really weird. I don't know what to do with that card is. I'm going to have to check that out later, but Ultra Rare Birthright. Birthright. Shadow Spell, a foreign Shadow Spell. Acid Trap Hole Game Promo. Imperial Order. Is that a reverse? I think it's a reverse foil Imperial Order. And that looks like a reverse foil Imperial Order. I mean, let's let's check with a regular. I, I can never remember. Yep, that was a reverse foil. So that's pretty nice. I need to set that in the first edition stack so I don't forget that it's reverse foil. Because that would be something I would do. Another Acid Trap Hole. This one's from SOI, so not super amazing. Oh, pretty nice last page. We got a, an Ultimate Rare. Phantom Darkness Drastic Drop-Off. Pretty good condition, too. We've got a first edition MRD Magic Jammer. Oh, it's creased, unfortunately. Creased across the middle, but still. First edition Metal Raiders. Man, I've hit the Morphing Jar so many times. It's getting abused. Radiant Mirror Force. First edition Dark Spirit of the Silent with that black text like they usually have. I believe always, actually. Even the Unlimiteds, as you can see right here. And then the final couple cards. We got a first edition Dark Mirror Force. Not horrible condition. And then a first edition last turn to end it off with the last card. So I'm going to run. I'm going to do a very quick recap of some of the stuff. Just in case you guys skip to the end and want to see it. Some really amazing stuff. This is an awesome pickup. So we got first editions. Magic Jammer. Reverse Imperial Order. That's not first edition, but... Blast Held by Tribute. Spellbinding Circle. Wait, did I get two Spellbinding? No, that's a little bit. First edition Raigeki. Unfortunately not. That's an amazing pickup. Ultimate Rare. and put that up here. Double Spell. Another first edition Ultimate. Different Dimension, Tribe Infecting Virus, another first edition ultimate. Uh, first edition secret rare. That's really amazing. A lot of first edition originals, first edition secret rare, Mazera Deville. It looks like that text is very thick too, except on the M, which is like thinner. Some other awesome stuff. And then a first edition element here, Erneos, Shinato. Yeah, this was oh wow, this was great. So we got all that stuff. We got some other game promos. Let's just go through some of the random stuff. The Unlimited's probably not going to go through. It's just a lot of the same stuff, just Unlimited. SDD, I'll have to look up what that is. I might have a price earlier, but I don't know how much editing I'm going to do on a massive opening like this. Or in a massive video like this that's this long. But yeah, this is a pretty amazing opening. Or not opening. Um, what do you want to call this? Binder collection purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. If you liked the long video, if you prefer shorter videos. And let me know what you want to see open in the future because I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. But give me your suggestions and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.